and I present to you a monitor. Just kidding. It's actually um, what I wanted to call an Xbox 360 laptop. Um, this, these wires right here, um, I do plan on having right angle adapters added onto them so that they'll be flat and flush with the entire thing. And uh, after I do that, it might be about five, six inches tall completely. So that's pretty nice. But um, here's an overview of the thing. It does have a flip up screen. Has a 360. This is actually a premium, I believe, or professional or whatever. But I spray painted it black a long time ago. And then my face plate, plate, plate broke whenever I tried to paint it. So I got a white one, but new white one on there. Has a 20 gig hard drive. Um, nothing really on this side. And there is a piece of duct tape just to kind of save uh, the paint. But it does have a pretty easy, little sturdy swivel. And the back end is pretty simple. Um, the monitor is mounted actually to a bent piece of a PC or PVC, I believe. Might be just, uh, I'm not sure what it really is. It was came off of a plastic container. And that is bolted using uh, wood screws actually to uh, the monitor. And then I mounted uh, using bolts and nails. I actually mounted it to the actual power supply that I drew it on the inside. And then it's uh, duct taped it together. And then from the power supply, it also has a couple more screws that actually uh, bolt into the Xbox. So it's actually a pretty, pretty uh, sturdy system here. I'm actually surprised at how well it worked. But uh, so it does have the VGA cable that I use, and uh, these uh, the power adapter, power cord is actually uh, just bundled up back here. But uh, my VGA cable. I used a normal VGA cable, but I took off the casing to make it about a third of the height. It's about, yeah, all, that's all it is. It's, I took off all the casing, and it's much, much, much smaller, and it actually works really well. Make sure I get that back in there. And, uh, but, um, under the power brick also have the um, older the the power brick for the monitor um, put inside of it and it is soldered together to use only one uh, power cord which is actually my favorite feature and I've tried to consolidate as many wires by wrapping them with heat shrink with actually duct tape not duct tape but electrical tape but uh let's fire this baby up so just as a flip up screen what you can do it with one hand super easy and you have one AC power adapter. And you notice that the LCD comes on. The Xbox turns on. Sorry. And for some reason, uh, the VGA um, it does have a long boot up time, but uh, there's no tricks being played on here. It just does take naturally a long time. I'm guessing it's because it's testing each resolution over and over again. There we go. But that's why it just takes a while. I don't I have no clue why. But I have volume controls built into the monitor. This is a 15 inch monitor, by the way. 1024 by 768. It's actually a very loud monitor, too. But it has a full, uh, well, that's actually just doing adjustments. But it has full settings for everything. It came with like an old computer, and I wasn't going to explain. But, uh, yes, the image is okay. But from here. And, um, this was actually my original Xbox 360, and, uh, the reason I actually used it, and this became actually kind of a more of a test subject is because it is I extreme it has I extreme uh, I believe uh, 1.6 put on it I'm trying to find a good game but it does play a bootleg bootleg games here's a here's a war 2 here's a war 2 goes in it and I believe this is using one of the Xenon Xboxes. 
because I had one of the uh, launch consoles, I believe. But uh, reading in it plays just fine. That was me just checking the menu, but uh. I mean, it works just fine, and it has only one power core that you need. That's all there is to the whole entire thing. Just one power core. Just can, everything else is pretty solid. And uh, I consider this to be in revision 4, or is it 3? I don't remember. And that means that uh, the only thing left for me to do is to fix an issue where uh, the screen actually touches directly that onto the Xbox and it uh, isn't very secure. That's the only issue I have left with it. I'm pretty happy with the design. I might redesign an entire case for it. I'm not sure yet. And I would, uh, one last thing I would like to do is actually replace this with a metal right angle block or right angle sheet. I don't know what to call it. But, uh, it works pretty well. Um,. I go ahead and hop into a. I don't have any internet access, and uh, since this band, there's no not even a point for me to uh, get a wireless adapter for it. And I'm gonna be taking if I take it around places, I'm not really gonna want to play online. I'm gonna just play some online or offline stuff, and uh, let's chill friends with it. It's gonna be more of it just to take somewhere, play games. Leave the games with friends and leave. What was that? Ah, shit, power's out again. Jack, open this door. Open the door. But that's about it for my Xbox laptop. Now, um, just so you know, I'm not an Xbox 360 fanboy, I'm actually a, personally a PS3 person, but I have had an Xbox for longer, so, but, uh, Xbox is a lot of fun, and I'm really happy I was able to actually make something relatively portable out of the thing, and, uh, and that's it, it works pretty well, it does weigh about 25, 30 pounds, uh, which is pretty unfortunate. But uh, it is very sturdy. Um, I actually kicked it off my bed when I was sleeping because I left it on my bed by accident. And uh, it was fine. It didn't break. So I was pretty impressed by it. The only thing, that, the only two problems with it is the plastic thing there, which I'm not 100% fan of, and how the LCD sits on the Xbox. I'm not a big fan of that either. It does put a lot of pressure on the actual LCD, which is a problem. And the LCD is in that good condition anyway, since it's a relatively old LCD. And that and the right angle stuff, that's just a minor touch up, just to make it a little bit thinner. But overall, the console is a pretty clean. Like, the two power supplies are pretty, uh, pretty well maintained. And it's solid black, since I used a lot of electrical tape around it. Um... And it's just used, this cable is super long. I didn't feel like shortening it because I don't want to risk uh, the power supply at this time. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, it's held in pretty well and it does use some pretty nice bolts. These were like a kit at Advanced Auto and it, it worked just fine. But, uh, the thing is pretty sturdy and I'm happy with it. So, peace.